I have been surprised as we are not moving on to the next semis match because we have these two scrubs and losers. <coughs> Alright, we have Shogi's Roy versus Spam Cops Mario for loot to place into top five. And I do believe I haven't seen these two play in a decent while. I think it's been about a month since they've last matched up. Connor has been all over the globe, I believe. I don't know how to describe it, really. We see his Mario versus Shogi's Roy here. Otherwise, in Loser's Top 8. And the Mario's looking, looking strong right now. In comparison, things could change at any moment, however. The adaptation game in this... Adaptation in this game in general is just a very strong factor. Right, let's get that update going. Both of these two sitting at kill percent now. There's a back air on uh, Shogi's whiff right there. Flood, he did not go for the up for the blazer right there. I believe Connor was actually looking for him to do so too. Up hill, very good option to catch Mario from behind. Trying to sneak his way around there, not going to work from there. He uses his jump to re reposition himself and gets the back. Row commitment to get the first stock off. And a forward tilt on the grab whiff right there, miss spacing. It's not going to do it. She uses his recovery option wisely right there as Shogi tries to cover all those angles right there. He finds his way back with an air dodge to the ground. Looking quite good for him otherwise. As he gets a good 41%. Keeps it going, but the breakout right there from Shogi right there. I believe that was an up tilt sending him skyward. Very good trade in his favor. Take it off. I don't know if it's actually really a trade if they go for a grab and you go for an attack. Because normally attacks just beat grab anyway, so. It's a good hitbox placement, let's call it that. Yeah, let's go. There you go. Alright. Uh, and a forward smash on the aggression from Shogi. Not going to do it right yet, but Connor is sitting pretty on this first game here, otherwise. Looking for, an for another read on his aggression. Shogi uses that to get behind him, gets a juggle started here. Keeps the pressure going, now 76% on Spam Cop, that Nair. Gonna put him in the corner. He fights out with a soft four tilt and a down smash. There it is. And there's game one, going to Spam Cop. Now. Shogi! has been using a lot of Roy this season. And I mean a lot of Roy. Survival. He's gonna continue to use a lot of Roy though. I, what, what I was thinking is just Mario seems like a more comfortable pick against Mario just due to how much more reward Mario gets in the matchup in general with his combos. So, <clears throat> prove me wrong with this one, Shogi, but I'm honestly not sure here what Roy would benefit from this matchup. More so practice and such. He might be contemplating the switch though. Okay, no, he is not as we go to Final Destination for Shogi's counter pick. Maybe a different stage is what he needs, a different atmosphere to settle the mood for him. We'll see it. But it makes a difference. That last game was pretty close otherwise. It wasn't warranting of a character switch necessarily, but you see these rewards right there. Mario just gets a lot off of this fastball weight right there from Roy. It'll take a lot from that. 75% already from, I think, one string, and that Nair setting up another one. Now at 104 from just two exchanges. That is the power of Mario right there. The combo master. Very strong. Very strong indeed. Alright. Shogi does get a few hits right in there. Now Mario at 50%. This third exchange is not going to be Roy's death right here. Looking close otherwise. Shogi getting that read on the grab. Or rather that position. Okay, that forward smash on the shield drop trying to grab Roy. Just barely out of range. Shogi positions himself perfectly for that. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. A ledge jump back air. It's going to even things right back up in, in socks. Alright then. Shogi might opt for a different play here. Is that well then? Connor found his combo another way there. That was a very good, very good read right there on his landing. All right, and not really able to do too much on uh, Shogi's sword up on Roy's sword. Otherwise, there, good landing tool from Shogi to space himself away from the shield and get out of there. Now he's at 100% again. However, 
but he did get that sock off first when he was in this position in the first sock of this game, so it really doesn't seem like this percent lead is too big of a deal that Nair Ford Smash says otherwise, as he is at that percent where that will confirm and finish him off. Spam Cop will be moving on to the Losers Quarter Finals of Play and Trade Weekly number 85, sending Shogi to 7th place. 